to Divine Echo Tarot. Just coming on to give you guys a reading because I'm bored and I can't sleep and I need something to do and I figure you guys need something to hear so but I'll jump on and give you guys a story. I did a story for Pisces the other day and I wasn't quite feeling it so we can do this one and um, say it's for Pisces okay um, keep in mind that this is just a story it may be your story maybe someone else around you story or it may not be anybody's story at all either way it's just a story and um, we'll just unfold it as we go so that being said I'm gonna get started I'm gonna shuffle these I've already shuffled all of these already keep in mind that I don't need the tarot in a traditional manner I read as I see I read as I hear I read as I feel one other thing I feel like I need to mention is sometimes the energy takes me out of my actual element and brings me into whoever's element that I'm channeling. So if my tone, my dialect, or any of that changes, that's in line with whoever it is that I'm channeling. All right. With that being said, let's get into your story. Let's see. Yeah, this whole stuck in the house thing has got me feeling like this here. <laughs> Ten of swords is stabbed in the back. Tired of everything. Feeling torn up. Because this is a new norm. We've got to be used to doing things a different way. To be honest, I'm an introvert. So, I have been training for this for my whole life. This is the introvert's time to shine. <laughs> So, as they say, introverts unite separately. <laughs> anyway, that's corny. Somebody, somebody laughed at that. Whatever. The cars don't even want to laugh at that. Alright, let's get into a story. I'm going to cut these. Y'all see my applesauce in the background. And have a little late night applesauce snack. <laughs> oh, let me light my incense. I have some dragon's blood and patchouli. I'm lighting. Get us a little vibe going on. some ones okay keep in mind this is a late night reading and it may go into some late night dialect or dialogue or whatever yeah the ace of wands first off I'm getting if someone is trying to make something happen without putting their hands in it I feel like somebody is trying to indirectly catch someone's attention yeah whoever it is someone from the past the six of cups has just fallen out let me see if I can adjust this camera just a little okay, I have six of cups yeah someone is trying to manipulate something from the past without putting their hands in it. They don't want to get their hands dirty and whatever it is. Bottom of the deck is the moon. 
So, yeah, somebody's trying to do something for or with or to someone from their past without as long as they can keep it a secret. But I think whoever it is that they are trying to do something for, to, or with, that person is very intuitive. I believe that while they're looking at this person from the past, this person from the past is um, can smell them coming. It's part of one of my, my gifts. I can smell people coming. <laughs> Especially if they have like a particular cologne or scent or something. If I smell them, they're going to call or come by. Anyway, we have the six of wands that popped out. So, whoever this is, is these shadow people. This may be someone not here on the earthly plane that is trying to put their hands into something. So we'll keep going. But whoever it is, they're gonna be successful at it. I see a, <laughs> I always see cars. So I see um, like a tan or gold sedan very classy car oh okay story we have a plot twist we have the five of swords so whoever this is is trying to manipulate this situation with someone from their past they're going to be victorious but they're victorious because they're trying to win at all costs uh, boy, boy, boy. Yeah, they they are bulldozing through people. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you guys could see that. I don't know if you saw that fallout. We got the strength card and the fool jumped out at the same time. <laughs> How cool is that? So what do we have? I don't normally call signs and this is for Pisces. I forgot to say this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have Pisces in any of those placements, this should resonate for you. And also, keep in mind, this may not resonate for all of you so just know that in any way this is just a story so but this story is unfolding to speak of someone who is having the strength to take a leap of faith I believe this person may not have always been confident but they're slowly taming that beast within as far as self-doubt. This person <laughs> this person is getting the attention of people around them. This person is stepping into their power may have been a shy person maybe it was a shy person in high school too and um, maybe it was kind of pushed down as far as their opinions and the way they thought you know they may have been teased about how they dressed or I'm just I'm, these are just things that I'm picking up this person, I'm hearing the name Amelia. I don't know who Amelia is, but I'm hearing Amelia.
But yeah, someone has a golden retriever. Anyway, let's keep on. Somebody, somebody stepping into their power. So whoever this was that was trying to manipulate something in the past, ma manipulate something that has something to do with someone from the past. Is doing it. Like I said, I think it may be someone not on the 3D plane. This may be a spirit guide. I'm hearing an uncle that's passed away. Yeah. This this person is giving you strength. This person is or this guide is giving you the confidence to take a leap of faith into your new life, into your new beginning. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. What just popped out for me is the Seven of Wands and the Four of Cups. So with the Seven of Wands and the Four of Cups, I'm getting someone who has been guarding themselves to the point where they're bored with what's going on with their lives. I am... I am seeing... Sorry, I distracted there. Yeah, I'm seeing someone who is being offered the same couple of from different bodies. <laughs> And I know you guys may or may not have heard this term. Same person, different body. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling a, a feel of that. So I think this is what was causing this person to have some sort of strife or whatever. Let me think. Someone's name is Leonard in this situation. <laughs> Leonard and Michael. I don't know. That may resonate with somebody. All right. I'm going to clarify. I place these together. We're going to clarify the Ace of Wands and the Strength. This, I'm going to use the Miss Cleo deck and see what we can come up with. All right, Spirit, Ace of Wands, and Strength card, please. Okay, we use that one. King of Staffs. So, this has got fire sign written all over it. Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm having strong Leo. Strong Leo has been coming up in a lot of my readings lately. Um, Leos are powerful. Not sure why the lights went out, but hang on there just a minute. Echo. Dining room lights on. Okay. <laughs> That was weird, and I guess that was confirmation. <laughs> so, whoever this is, is dealing with a strong Leo. With that being said, I want to light some Palo Santo. Because I don't appreciate... Uninvited guests. So hang on while I light you guys a little Palo Santo. Clear the energy. Understand that this is my space. Clear the energy. 
energy. Yeah. So I'm glad this is being caught on camera. My Palo Santo went out. My music just simply stopped. The lights went out. <laughs> so this may or may not get posted. We'll see. I don't know if I want to keep it moving or if we want to just start over and get some fresh energy, which I think I am. I think I'll complete this. It'll be a shorter reading. I'll complete this for you. And we'll go from there. Sorry about all the moving. Anyway. So, we have a Leo. Obviously. A powerful Leo. I wouldn't be surprised if the Magician card came out. This person... This reading has taken a turn for... The Supernatural... We interrupt this reading from a sign called Leo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm seeing Majors call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoever you are, baby, it's going to be okay. <laughs> we have the world card. So, this Leo... He's trying to manifest some life-changing event. They are moving fast. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, that is the Six of Swords. They are really working fast to change some sort of life event. I feel like something that's just... I don't even know. Uh, something that's just maybe rocked their world. Whatever this Leo, I don't know if this is a uh, Leo that you've been dealing with. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> we have Leo across the board. Is this supposed to be a Leo reading? Are you, is the Leo hijacking the Pisces? I don't, I don't know. We got the world here. Yes, um, with the world and the sun... I am getting someone had this Leo's son and put this person, whoever this Leo is, in a mental prison. This Leo is feeling trapped, alone in the situation, feeling like things are not working for them. They are given choices that they don't want. They are guarding whatever part of their heart is still workable or still working, rather. This, <laughs> this is some powerful stuff. We got the moon that just popped up. We got um, the six of coins. So somebody's breadcrumbing this person. The king of coins. Somebody's sitting back and watching this person scramble. Whoever this is is scrambling. This is my not quite so great at it just yet magician card. This is the four of cups. This is like somebody trying to make up some sort of potions. I believe whoever this Leo is in your life. If they are dealing with a... A secret person in their life. That secret person is, uh, for lack of another way to put it, is, is performing some sort of magic or spells. Um, or working the arts, as, if you want to call it. Um, I see Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck right now. Uh, yeah, this person. I see the higher fit now. Uh, 
I'm hearing sheriff again. I'm hearing sheriff. I'm hearing law enforcement. I don't know if somebody had the sheriff come to their house. I'm feeling like someone is barricading them themselves in the home. Um, so what story I'm starting to get to put getting put together right now? Apparently and obviously, <laughs> there's no way around it. There is a Leo who is trying to change, make a life changing situation or make a life changing decision on someone from their past who they are diligently and almost at all costs trying to get back to what they are dealing with right now and I don't know if that if they're trying to get back to you or get away from you to someone else I don't know where you are in this story Put yourself in here where you're fitting in. But there is someone who is guarding what little heart they have left, what little life they have left against something or someone who is trying to manipulate their energy. So there's two energies that are being manipulated. The Leo's manipulating either your energy or someone around you is manipulating your energy that has to do with the Leo and then there's someone manipulating the energy of the Leo we have two of staffs here at the bottom of the deck so someone is someone is trying to come up with another way to do something and what just popped out is the moon card so, if this Leo is trying to leave a situation to come to you, he or she is trying to do it in secret. He or she is teasing or almost, I don't really know, it's like they're trying to charm the people that they're leaving into being a relaxed person you know so they won't object to the leaving all right we're going to get a couple of cards so we can see a little more information about who this leo is because this leo obviously wants to be a part of this pisces story i see a white card too and see a white Chevy. I don't know why. See white, yeah, white Chevy. And I see a blue Toyota Prius, like the light blue, sky blue Toyota Prius. I don't know who has that for you. Yeah, I see ma marriage. The marriage card just comes out. Something significant about three eight. That mean that may mean thirty eight, the eighth of March, three five pathway. Somebody might be thirty five, and the other person may be thirty eight. So this Leo is married. This Leo is trying to take a different path. We saw that with the two of wands at the bottom of the other deck. This path is has to be strategically, I'm hearing strategically taken. So we have the marriage card and pathway. We also have courthouse on the bottom of the deck. So this may involve a divorce if this Leo is coming towards this Pisces. We're going to go ahead and include Aries and Sag in this because it's only fair. You know, even though this Leo is 
trying to make its presence known. We're going to go ahead and include Aries or Sag. So it could be a Leo, Aries or Sag that, are, that is married, needing to get a divorce and come towards you. Or needing to leave a marriage with you to go towards someone else because they are bored with the situation that they are currently in. Someone in between this situation is manipulating this energy. Um, I see like a child, maybe child support. Somebody's trying to get out of paying child support, alimony. Um, let's see. Oh, goodness. Well, well, well. Imprisonment. Now, this can mean a couple of things. One, this person is trying to do all this to avoid going to prison. Two, somebody is actually in prison and that's why they can't come towards you. And that's why everything is kind of hidden because you don't know that there, yeah, we see despair. Despair just came out. So you don't know. This person is not happy where they are. And these cards, as far as the numbers, we have a number 29. We have a 32, 35, and a 3. So any of those things may be significant to you. There's 3 and 2, that's 5. So 5. We got a 2 and a 9, that's 11. We got a 3 and a 5, that's 8. And we got a 3. So any of those numbers may have something to do with you. Also seeing the number 7. So something may happen in 7 days, 7 weeks, or 7 months from now. This this may take place in 7 days, 7 weeks, 7, seven months from now. Give me some more about this Aries, Leo, and Sag that's coming towards this Pisces or that this Pisces is dealing with. Alright, community. So this could be someone from your area. This could be someone trying to use the community for support. Yeah, they, they may be going, I'm seeing them using some sort of like a community counselor or a counselor or an advocate for some sort of situation, whatever the situation, I don't know what the situation is that they're in, but they may use that to facilitate some ter internal changes within themselves. Somebody may be sick, so bad health comes out. <sighs> and also seeing with this bad health, somebody is giving somebody a bill to be an um what? yeah, bad health came out, so I'm seeing that somebody maybe if someone's going to court for a divorce, they may be giving them <laughs> Giving them the amount of child support or alimony or whatever that they may have to pay. And that may make the person feel sick. <laughs> Wealthy man is at the um, bottom of the deck. So this person got it. They just don't want to give it. They don't want to share it. I feel like this is just so all over the place. I don't know. Yeah, this this person is <laughs> yeah, this person is would rather this is saying bad um family room bad health. So this person is uh, I'm hearing family secrets. So this person 
maybe trying to hold some sort of secret together. Maybe they don't want the community that they're in to know that they're going to have to get a divorce from a person. Maybe they just had a child with this person and they're having to get a divorce soon after having this child. Maybe just the total situation of us all being under quarantine is causing this person to truly see who it is that they are dealing with. My cards just fell everywhere. My card souffle. <laughs> or card salad, <laughs> rather. Where a souffle came out. Maybe somebody's eating souffle. Distant Horizon. <sighs> Maybe this person wants to travel. Maybe the person that they are feeling nostalgic about is in a different area. I'm seeing seagulls and I'm seeing ships and wind chimes. Why don't why am I seeing wind chimes? I don't know. Maybe someone has wind chimes. Someone's got a dog and the dog is sick and going to throw up on your carpet. Yeah. In the family room. And it's going to be hard for you to clean it up. Because it's going to be oily. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting that. Toilet labor. It's going to be hard for you to clean that up. Yeah. Sorry about that. So I think that's Whoa, that main male flipped out like a boomerang and went on the other side of the table, that mature man. Yeah, this person is trying to run from a responsibility. <laughs> all right, this story is hella crazy and it's all over the dang place. Right now, I'm trying to see if we can recap, and but I really don't really understand what I need to say. Let's see. So, we have Ace of Wands, Strength card, King of Staffs, the World card, and the Sun card all came out, so along with the Fool. So somebody is really trying to reinvent themselves or reconnect with something or someone without putting their hands in the situation. So they may try to present something as, <laughs> I don't know, I'm hearing... Yeah, they and, uh, it's coming to us. <laughs> they are trying to present something to someone on the slot on the side. So maybe they are presenting something to a judge or a colleague or a friend that may be able to facilitate this meeting with the person from the past. They may not go through them. They may not go to the person from the past from their past that they want to go to directly. They may send a message through a friend, a family member, colleague, whatever. Um, whatever it is that, it, that they're going to do is going to work out for them in their favor. They will be successful. They may hurt a few people in the process, but it's going to be successful for them. I'm getting a headache out of this world right now. Somebody has a headache, right side, right temple. Uh, this may be this Leo or Aries or Sag that is in stressed out, that's getting getting a headache, that's having such a bad headache. Um, whatever it is that that's going on, this may be this person facilitating things through a friend, family member, colleague, whatever, or it may be them having some sort of um, supernatural aid and um that is going to line the cosmos up for this to occur meanwhile their per their current situation in their own home life whether they are married um just living with someone or 
dating someone really heavily. I saw a child, so I don't know if they just gave birth. This person is, like I said, either married, dating, or something to that effect. It's, you know, it's not everybody's story, so it's, there's different scenarios. Um, whatever it is, they're bored with what they're being offered at home. They are wealthy, so they're having... They're in turmoil because if they walk away, that they know that they're going to lose something. They're going to have to give to whoever it is that they're walking away from. And it could be alimony and child support. They're not wanting to do this. They're, they're, they're sad about it. They're sulking over it. But they know that they have to do it. And at some last ditch effort, they're trying to manipulate the situation or they are being manipulated in this situation in order to have to pay, pay out. So at the same time, they're trying to walk away, um, charm those around them so they don't, they're not alerted to the fact that they got to walk away. Again, we confirm that they are married. They are looking for a new way. To reinvent themselves and a new way to walk away from this situation without causing strife. They are, uh, again, in prison. Someone may be in jail or have to go to jail in this. And then someone may be getting secrets on how to get out of this situation with this little mouse here. Somebody may just be telling them what they need to do to get out of this Either way, they are, like I said, they are in despair. They are sulking over it. This is a headache, a nightmare for them. This is something that they probably didn't see coming. They just want out. It's hard work trying to get out of it. But they got to keep doing what they're doing just to make it through. Like I said, with the bad health, someone may be sick. But at the same time, this may be... The court order, child support, or alimony amount that's making somebody tired and well, not tired, but making someone sick because they have to actually, you know, pay out this money. And that's that they may be using the community, like a counselor or something, family counseling to, um, get through this situation because it may be too much stress for them to handle at this time but in the distant horizon they will be able to relocate i'm seeing a sunny area with seagulls and wind chimes and i mean what are those things um, windmills so maybe somewhere with seagulls and windmills or whatever we're gonna get a an, a psychic tarot oracle card to see what the this person or you need to do because this was supposed to be Pisces story but Leo decided to take this story so we'll post it for Pisces and Leo it may resonate for the both of them okay we got firm foundation I'm seeing obstacles in your way of obtaining this firm foundation. I'm also seeing someone having some back problems. The triangle sticking out to me at the bottom, lower back, lower back, upper left shoulder. <laughs> Someone's having some back issues, but anyhow, this firm foundation is going to be difficult to obtain. There are going to be obstacles and just cold people in your line, in your um circle. Just people treating you cold and being distant with you. And at the bottom of the deck, this is suffering in silence. And that's the number nine. The uh, firm foundation is a number four. But I feel like this person, this Leo Aries, Leo Aries Sag, or you are suffering in silence or this may just be the backstory 
other person that you are dealing with and you're just getting a peek into what's going on and reason why they're not with you or why they are distant from you or whatever. We have prosperity begins. So give it time. You can't plant a seed and expect to see your fruits grow overnight. Give it time. Be patient. Allow the roots to spread. Allow the abundance to slowly appear. Because someone at, at the end of this is going to be going to be prosperous. It's going to be small. Like I said, there are going to be obstacles in the way, but you'll be able to slowly ascend into something greater, something more solid. I'm also seeing with the peaches, I think those are peaches, it looks like a peach. <laughs> so we could have somebody from Georgia. Um, yeah, I'm seeing Georgia. Georgia and Greenville, Mississippi. Wow, where did that come from? Okay, and we have Harmony at the bottom of the deck. So, so I think that's pretty much it. This person is going through it. They got a lot to deal with. They're struggling. They're going to be victorious and reaching out from whoever this is from the past. We got a couple of chocolate cards coming out. So we got um, third eye and we got the throat chakra. So these, this person needs to do some meditation to come up with the clarity, to, to feel the clarity in what it is and what steps and what things they need to do to overcome these obstacles and feel better about what's going on in their lives and this person needs to open up their mouth and say something this feels so heavy this person needs to talk this person needs to say something to someone about whatever this is reach out to a counselor if, you, if it's so heavy on you reach out because whatever this is this is heavy to this person I mean, you know, you are being kind of spared, but yeah, this this is heavy to this person and they need to talk to somebody. I'm saying if they're not seeking counsel to, to reach out to a counselor, if it's just, you know, pure counseling or something to that matter, but reach out to someone and it's okay because not you're not alone in your situation. I promise you not. You're not. I promise you you're not. I promise you that there's someone else going through whatever it is that you're going through. And they've gone through it and have made it out to the other side. And you can too. And go see somebody about that back and shoulder problem. Go get your massage. I know I need one. But anyway... This has been your story, and I hope that it resonated for you. I hope it made sense, and if it didn't, guess what? It's just a story, and it doesn't have to be your story. It can be anybody's story around you. It might even be your neighbor's story. The garbage man's story or garbage person's story. Yeah. The cashier's story. Someone around you is their story. And it needed to be told. So, with that being said, this has been a story. And I will read you guys another story at another time. And... I hope none of these little phenomenons that happen through this reading freak you out. But, hey, it is what it is. And it's part of the job. <laughs>
part of the work. And also, I want to make a shout out to all the light workers. Please continue to do what you do. Please come together to lift the spirits of the people around you. Put some positivity in the air because we all need you. Just like the essential workers of the globe, you guys are essential as well. So raise the vibration and I'm sending you peace, love, and light. Namaste and echo out.